Hi everyone and welcome once again to Dream Big Grand Canaria. Yeah, hi everybody. Um, we've had a really busy week this week. It's good. We got a lot of work done clearing the land and well, we made a start on it. There's a lot to do, but we made a start. At least now we're able to uh, gain access much more comfortably. Yeah, because you will see in parts of the video where we just couldn't get past each other. It was so tight to get in and we had to be really careful because those cactuses, they're spiky. And also this was a really good week for us to work on the land because it was a little bit overcast and some days raining. So it was great. Um, we didn't have to be so concerned about working in the heat. So we were actually able to get some good physical work done without being too hot. Yeah, and it was really nice to get to those um, stones. There are steps there that we sort of figured out we would use to get down to the lower terrace. So we managed to clear that so that we can get to the lower terrace and um, start composting some of this cactus. The ground is very rich, but we feel that if we compost it, it will make it even richer. Yeah, and we did actually come to grips with, some, with the amount of cactus that's on the land, and we made a small impact into it. Um, it was not easy to work with, obviously, because it's quite painful, but you have to be yeah, so we, super careful. We had to take our time a little yeah. bit with it until we got used to it, because it's spiky. We also had a good feedback from uh, the camper van and we were really happy with that so we are going to and uh, basically say why we picked an ambulance towards the end of the video so please stick around for that this at the moment is the way that we are going to be going into the site and as you can see it's fairly overgrown i even cut back a piece of that cactus there but we'll cut back more of it and um, for today because we're only starting we have set up a little table so that we can be a little bit civilised. The weapons of choice today. Machete. Another wonderful thing that happened this week was we got the opportunity to meet our new neighbours. Yeah, that's them kind of coming down the walkway. Yeah, we have lived in a lot of places, in a lot of different parts of the world, and we have always been fortunate enough to have really good neighbours, particularly... Especially our last neighbours. Yeah, neighbors. particularly they our last neighbours. We really got along well with them. So I, th I don't think that um, this is going to be any exception. It was so wonderful to meet them, and it, they speak almost fluent English, She's although they, <laughs> they don't think that they do, but it's just been so good for us and it's, we are really looking forward to the future living beside these two guys. Hello. Are you good? Yeah, you are ready for the, for walking. You're ready for working, there's lots of us. Yeah. <laughs> for sure. <laughs> there's no you something that you can come with us? Oh, thank you. Water thank you. or whatever you need. We, Hopefully we've got enough for today. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, that's good. <laughs> Wow.
You'll start to notice from the pictures here that the land is opening up a bit. We have made some headway into clearing it, like we mentioned earlier, and it's pretty obvious from what you can see here. With the machete. <laughs> I love the machete. Always wanted a machete for some reason or another. So I have to be on my best behaviour. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Angie, now we have a couch. Yeah, right. So basically over the couple of days, um, that was the extent of what we got done. Yeah. 
They were long days and the bodies were pretty tired in the evening and the following day, let me tell you. Yeah, because it's all manual work. Yeah, but we really enjoyed it and, and loved getting yeah. stuck in and getting it done. And now we've got a lot of, t lot of things to do where we live, so let's get at it. It's a really nice day here today and perfect day for what it is that I'm looking to do here. As you can see, I'm not on the land, I'm at home and we have some friends and family that are gonna call over and see us. So we're really looking forward to that. And there's some work to do. That's our pool. It's 2.8 meters by 2.2 .2 and roughly 1.1 1.2 meter deep so it takes more or less seven cubic meters of water to fill it but a few months ago I made the decision to clean it out because there was so much going on and we had so much to do I didn't want the hassle of leaving the pool there for one anyway that it would become an algae pit and two taking care of these pools there's, there's a bit of work in them and unless you're here to keep the maintenance of the pool up they can go wrong very very quickly and if they go wrong you don't want to be in them or you don't want anybody your friends or anything getting in them for sure so I'm going to clean up this general area around here because of kalimas and dust and one thing or another that we've got going on here pieces of the plants falling in which is normal I guess general uh, power hose it out and just take a little bit off of the hibiscus that's over there Looking forward to this. Like this kind of work on a day like today. Kind of like a before and after video. Let's see how we get on. So let's get to it. Why an ambulance as a camper van? These pictures are a little bit blurry, but these are the original photographs that we got off of the internet when she was for sale. And we had a few days before we actually got the time to go to see it with work commitments and all that sort of thing. So I started asking a few people for some advice. A guy that we really trusted as a mechanic that had done some work with us servicing cars and one thing or another in the past. He's the type of guy that would apologise if he had to spend a bit more money for the right spark plugs. I mentioned to him that we were looking to buy an ambulance to convert to a camper van. His reaction was, wow, that's a good idea. And what make was the vehicle? So I told him it was a 2001 Ford Transit T350, twin wheel cab, diesel 2.4 litre engine. He thought it was a good year of manufacture mainly because it sort of predated the onboard computer thing where everything had to be connected to a computer. So I was happy to hear that, but then I mentioned a concern that I had about it, it had 220,000 miles on it. And then he told me a story that I just could not believe. He said that his father had a transit and he drove it as a school bus. He was mechanically minded as well, so he had to take care of it and bringing kids to school. Naturally, he'd have to make sure everything was right, but he took good care of it. And he drove it for a million miles. And he said it didn't stop there. He sold it 
and the guy that bought it next drove it for another 250,000 miles before he parked it up. It didn't stop, he just parked it up. He thought that 220,000 miles was nothing for a vehicle like that, so I was really happy to hear that. When we went to take a look at the ambulance, we kind of felt like we were reasonably well informed. So, we bought it. In the next video, we'll pick up from here how we started the conversion from an ambulance to a camper van.